What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. It's time to build our own frame. So you might remember the Kajiba project. This thing is turning into quite the basket case. Here's a short clip of all the bits and bobs that we, uh, we have to basically make a bike out of. Now these are the spare engine parts. We're gonna do our best to uh, make that thing perfect for this chassis right here. In this video guys, I'm gonna show you my process of creating a dirt bike frame. So it all starts with a 3D scanner. We originally built the custom Banshee trike that you guys might remember from a couple months ago. I like that frame so much, I decided to scan it in. It's loosely based on YZ250 geometry. So everything's gonna be very similar to that. We are gonna make a handful of tweaks to this chassis. So right here, guys, you can see I've got the mesh imported to CAD. I already did start drawing the frame. It's looking really good. So right here, you can see how I did already change the head tube angle. This is going to make this bike handle amazing. I can't wait to try it out. But uh, right now, it's really just getting the frame going. So step one is more or less get the design dialed in. You guys can see how I have the top half of the frame already designed. And the next step, guys, guess what? We're going to go head over to the plasma table. We're going to get these parts cut out. I decided to not bore you guys too bad, so I skipped the video of me sandblasting and prepping these parts. So right now, I'm actually getting all the pieces laid out. I've got a handful of weld nuts. These are six by 1.0 weld nuts. So I'm gonna go ahead and get those installed into this frame. So more or less, we've got a couple of pieces going together. This frame is gonna be based on a box design on the top half. We've got some internal gusseting, which you guys can see in a couple of clips coming up. Now right here, I'm just, again, just getting the weld nuts just tacked in for now. Now it's time to test fit. I honestly can't believe how well this fit. Fit really good, uh, better than I expected. I uh, usually don't get it on the first try always. Um, more or less, I think just the experience of drawing parts every day is helping me make this frame as nice as I can. So here's a quick test fit. I just took the one frame half just to make sure I'm not too far off. It ended up lining up perfect with the frame fixture. Real happy with it, so I'm gonna go ahead and start getting this bad boy put together so right here i'm just finishing up the weld nuts on the other half now the next step is going to more or less be getting the center section put in and i've also got the top and bottom pieces so right here i'm just clamping it i'm taking my time i'm tacking from front to back and again we've got the locators with the internal gussets so everything fit real nice Right here, guys, here it is. It's uh, it's just tacked up right now. But this is the top half of the Kajiva frame. Now, guys, we're going to use this frame design for a handful of other trikes. We're possibly going to have CR500s, more Banshees, um, really anything we can dream up. Our plan is to actually build custom dirt bikes, custom big wheels, and, of course, more trikes. So right here, I'm just finishing the top half of the frame. I made a nice wrap around in the back, so I was a little bit paranoid about the, the shock mount area, so I was able to actually fold that piece of metal up and inside. So we're just adding some internal bracing right there. Now all these mounting points on the rear shock bolt mounts are actually going to get external gussets welded on the outside, and we're also going to have some bungs welded on the inside, so this rear section is going to be extremely strong. And here's the, the moment we've all been waiting for. Is this thing even gonna fit? How's it gonna look? So you can see the look on my face. I'm, uh, I don't know, maybe when I weld, I just get stressed, who knows? But definitely more excited in my head than you guys are seeing in the video right now. I was actually like super, super excited. Um, I think more or less, I just really wanted this thing to fit perfect, which it did. Here's a shot of the head tube. 
We ended up taking five degrees out of this YZ250 frame. I think it's gonna be perfect for the trike. We can still do a lot of tweaks on the rear shock and linkage, but more or less, we just wanted to steepen up the head tube. The goal is to run longer forks and not have to shorten them up or play with any of that kind of geometry. We're going for extra ground clearance underneath the engine. So right here is the pivot tube that's gonna get welded to the frame. This is where your swing arm pivot would actually bolt to your frame. Of course, we got the linkage mount in the back. This is the subframe upper tube, so that gets welded on the top of the frame. That's where your subframe's gonna bolt to, right on the top. And this is just above your rear shock mount. Here's another shot from the other side with the pivot bolt going through. Just imagine that uh, having a box section on there. We're gonna have some tubes running down. It is gonna be a tube chassis, guys, but again, it's partially boxed on the top. It makes everything super accurate. It goes together really nice. As you can see, everything kind of just pops together. Here's a quick little preview of the front gusset that I already cut out. And right here, you can see we have some adjustments so I can rotate the head tube for different frame designs. If we wanna go with a longer wheelbase or a shorter, really just comes down to what kind of riding we're doing from motocross to flat track to even desert racing. More or less, it's uh, unlimited now. So making our own frame is kind of the ultimate goal and we're heading that direction. Here's a shot of the fabricated head tube. So all these parts were made on our CNC lathe and then TIG welded together. We're gonna follow that up with uh, billet triple clamps, billet stem and all that fun stuff. Overall guys, super happy with this project. It's coming together. Been a little bit delayed on getting this thing done for you guys. And uh, our customer has been very, very patient. I appreciate him greatly because he's letting me build the most badass bike that I can. So. I'm going to do my best to get you guys another video in the next couple days here and uh, show you some more progress. And I can't wait to get this bike on the ground. If you guys like this kind of content, definitely comment. I love doing the fabrication videos. It's, uh, it's just fun showing you guys behind the scenes and I guess what really goes into doing these bikes. So if you haven't yet, subscribe to the channel and we'll see you guys in the next one.